I am back again. I am on Mate at this point in time. And I still have one what if. We have developed a tool called Arconex Logout with a T. We use it for PSP, WM, and so on and so on. With tiling window managers. So can I use something written for Arch on, yeah, you guessed it. Yeah, Mate doesn't do that, huh? On Linux Mint. So everything needs to go except that. So can we do extract here? Can we etc, okay, and user, okay. Can I copy paste? Well, actually, let's do that first. Can I run this thing? Can I run this thing? I am now in, um, in Mate and I want to do a right mouse click open terminal here and guess what I don't have a right mouse click terminal that's column so I'm gonna say goodbye to logout restart shut down hey where's my logout I wanna log out I can choose now log out log out is he going to log out don't think he's going to log out i can choose plasma i can choose i3 i can choose bspwm i can choose uh, what did i not mention awesome i can do all these things but it's getting a rather slow as in unresponsive but it is responding it just i guess memory thing or a space thing because I only have two gigabyte, go two gigabyte left. So this is what I all have. Gonna go to my trustworthy XFCE, and voila, we're Linux Mint. Okay, so home again. Control H in the download. In here. In here. In here. In here. Forget it. In here right mouse click thank you very much and then we're gonna launch this thing is it launchable okay sudo apt install python maybe i just need to a uh, reboot huh? just to kick uh, everything into gear again i don't know because even typing looks a bit strange Cairo, yeah. Mm. sudo apt install. Let's try Python. 4280 possibilities. No. Yeah, that exists. Now we need to have G. What's that? Import G. because they want to import something all right no problemo no problemo no problemo let's start moving things around so can we remove these all of this needs to be moved so sudo copy me or move copy or move the etc 
Linux is at all. Okay, to etc. List me etc. Arc logout. Okay, it's there. It is arrived at its destination. Now we're gonna copy paste everything user recursively. We don't need force. We're not gonna force him to user, right? And then we're gonna ask the list of user and where is it at user share user share local yeah user share all right user share arco that did not do the trick nothing has been copy pasted over Let's open a window. User share. Share. Arc logout. It's there. Permission denied. All right, let's take control. This was not done right. I never do that. I do this open folder as root. And then we're going to clean it out again. Just to be sure. This needs to go in there. Voila. And now if we launch Arcolino logout, we got this. So it works. Uh, Mate, it's not gonna work on Mate, but let's test this out on i3, for example. Log out. Or awesome, doesn't matter. Super X, log out. And we are, we have lift off, right? Awesome. PSP. This is BSPWM for you. Super X logout. And we have logout. Okay. Or well, what if that is has been satisfied? So Cairo was one thing. Ah, another what if. What did we install, right? That's that's my question. I can probably find something. Is LL there? Bash history. If I type cut bash history, why is it not finding bash history? Bash, yeah. Underscore. Okay, underscore. So what did we do? We installed. These are all my applications. See all the things I've done in the meantime. Pavu control, uh, Pycom does not exist. It's Compton here. Um, awesome lane doesn't, didn't exist. XFC4 goodies is the same thing. Plasma, Plasma desktop is the correct name. Kawaki installed, console installed. Not a desktop environment did exist. The other one do not exist. And here it is. So Python, Python Cairo and Python uh, GI. I know how to pronounce it that has been installed three things to install and then it works and then I had another what if we have something called an alias called rip and it uses X pack does that exist was my what if Oh yeah, <laughs> sudo 
apt install x pack. Ah, no, that does not exist. X pack. Arch Linux X pack. X pack git it comes from this date from this GitHub. And if you want to have it, oops, how do we build it? How old is this? Two years, seven years, two years, two years? Oh my god, not maintained anymore. That happens with so many projects, right? David has other things to do. LPM data extraction utility. Okay. No explanation how to build it or whatsoever. Not gonna waste my time with it. But too bad. Gives us a nice list if you wanna see what, what it does. If you type rip, we got the list of all the last things we've installed, date and number 200 packages up to scroll to look at that date, that hour, that second, we install that. There's some kind of history of what's going on, I suppose. Something similar, similar must be on Linux Mint. And maybe you can put it underneath the video so everybody knows how to do that. Get a similar list of what things have we installed in the past. Probably in the Mint installer, I would go look in there somewhere. In the Mint, Mint something, Mint backup, Mint drivers, Mint installer maybe. I don't know. No, that's something else. Although, although, history maybe, history, mm, don't think so. Installed applications. So these have been installed, you can see what I've done. All these are new things. All these ones, a nice summary of all the things I've done until now. Installing Cinnamon, getting stuff in, awesome, BSPWM, i3, Mate, Plasma, and all this. Grub as well here. OPS. Nice summary of all the extras I've installed. Alex Appearance, Compton, not Mikem, Compton, Atom, Fonts Hack. I had to find out what the name was. Fonts Hack, Fonts Noto. And the awesome font was really, really tricky. It was Fonts Fonts or something. Fonts Fonts Awesome. So they, they renamed it very strange. Fonts Font Awesome. Anyway, found it after a while. Et voila, I think I'm pretty much done. Super X. No, I'm not done. We have great themes, but they're not available. But there is a blue one. Save settings, escape, Super X. Blue it is, and I'm shutting down. I'm out. Cheers.